So this is the new motion system, a cooler class motion system. Um, I guess it came out of nowhere. I didn't really anticipate working on that. Uh, my initial goal was to develop magnetic IDEX. And uh, when I reached the limits of the motion system, I had a choice to accept a new uh, popular motion system or see if I can refine the original MakerBot replicator uh, configuration and it looked like there were some really obvious things that could be improved. For example, the x-axis motor could be reduced down to about 130 grams. Um, the whole motion system could be lightweighted and yet have the benefit of having one motor per belt. So I have two belts for y-axis and one belt for x-axis. It's fairly balanced. Uh, the tool, each tool is about 200 grams and the whole gantry moving mass is about um, close to a thousand. So right now each Y belt, each Y motor is uh, moving about 500 grams, which is a small fraction of what it was originally designed to move. So hence the you know, 10 meter per second squared accelerations and such, 10 to 12. I don't know what the limit is yet. Um, still working on it. So it's doing top uh, infill right now. It's going to top, not top infill. It's doing the top layer. And now this is the next. Uh, so it's quite, quite snappy. <laughs> I really like how it's running. And uh, better than I could have ex anticipated. I can center this tripod a little better. There we go. So just fine-tuning pressure advance, fine-tuning uh, accelerations. There's some resonance at lower speeds on the y-axis. I'm not sure why, but overall, I'm very happy with <laughs> with the results and. Uh, yeah the bib is working well for the nozzle filament ooze plate as flashforge calls it i don't know if there's a official term for that i like bib nozzle bib it's almost like a reed valve for the nozzle so i don't really have to purge anything before or after prints i don't have to retract after prints it just shuts off the nozzle right against that piece of uh sheet metal. Let me zoom out so you can see what I'm talking about. This little guy here. Uh, so the the nozzle just shuts itself off right against that spring steel plate. So I really like that. And um, yeah, the thermal mass is not an issue. The nozzle can't heat up that huge piece of steel. Huge, relatively speaking. It's extremely light. I mean, this thing is almost weightless it's uh uh what's the thickness i think 20 thousandths of an inch so pretty thin and uh let's see let's see what this looks like that was uh, much faster than before let's see if i can get the focus on this overall i'm very happy very happy with uh with this part this is the top extremely light this is 13% infill so I'm very happy so far